Hello, Mad Nation. S. Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your dad. It is not my dad. But it is the Mad Dad, a.k.a. The Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden NFL 13 football, kicking off with a huge, humongous, gigantic, big bang show, 247. We're talking St. Louis Rams playbook, base play. I have a great base play. Excited about it. I've been uh, taking a look at it here for the past minute, literally the past minute. Um, take a look at the play. It's coming from the gun empty tray. Now, uh, if you remember on our the zone beating uh, uh, play, I just taped that one, and you're, you saw this yesterday. Uh, it, it, the play we talked about was from gun spread, and the play was called for verticals. Now, that was our uh, way to attack zone coverage on a consistent basis. Now, now base play, we always say, is a good play that you, you want a play that can attack man-to-man, -man, attack zone, and it's kind of annoying to defend. And uh, so... I, I found a play from the gun empty tray that I think I like a lot. It's called the Rams Y Shake, and we're going to show you right here why I like this play so much. Now, you can see that we have the four verticals concept going deep, so you know we can attack any type of zone coverage. Now, we also have a, uh, um, a little jig route. I don't know, what's, what's the proper term right there? A shake. a shake route, a little jig route. Uh, it's, it's a small uh, post, uh, post flag route, but uh, I mean, I didn't know, yeah, shake route works for me. So a uh, shake route by the tight end. And what that's gonna do is, I wanna show you really quick here. With a good tight end, that's a good route to attack man-to-man -man coverage. So what I'm thinking, and this is how I wanna set this up, this is my idea with this play, is remember how we said we can put one of the outside receivers on an out pattern, that's gonna beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now we can also have that combo that with the tight end who's gonna run that shake pattern over the middle of the field. That Now that's also a man-beating pattern. And we could do, say, double outs. So now you have two ways to attack the man on the outside. Then you have the inside shake, which is tough to defend. So you can see that all these different ways you're attacking man-to-man -man coverage. Let's not also forget that you can place X on a fade. Uh, so that you're gonna get inside position there, a snap, inside throw, and you can see how easy that is to attack man-to-man -man coverage. So I like this play for a lot of reasons. My base setup for it, though, would be uh, to play circle on a, on a deep out pattern. And I'm just gonna kind of read the defense. And what I kind of want to do is, you know, just to show how the, this base play might work is, I'm gonna go and call a random play in defense. I like to do this a lot, just when I when I find a play, just kind of see what the reads are against uh, different plays. So not gonna see what the defense is showing, but here I place it out. I do see that the DBs are back. Uh, that's one thing I want to key in on. So I know I can hit that out pattern. So there's that first completion. Um, so again, I saw the DBs are back, so I'm throwing the out. Now the DBs are kind of up. This goal line, so that's that's a problem. Uh, I know I can hit that seam definitely there. So now there, you see that completion. In what I'm, the purpose of this another goal line play will snap. But the the idea of of running against random plays is you want to see this play strength and this weakness. And what I would recommend is when you get stopped, when you run the play and, and all of a sudden you can't, you know, you throw incompletion or inter, uh, uh, interception or something. I want you to go back into the game tape and I want you to look at instant replay and see what happened and see what you might have done wrong. So here it is again. Now I know I can get that out pattern. Anytime I see those DBs are back, I know I have a pretty good chance of getting that deep out pattern. I mean, again, I can, I'll just, you know, the, the defense isn't going to respect that. I can just keep throwing that out. I mean, it's out city right now. It, I mean, I don't even know what to do. I mean, I don't even, uh, let's, let's check down on another one of our reads. I mean, the out pattern is there, it's there, it's there. And now I see I have that deep flood there. And I, and I go up and make a huge play with Danny Amendola. When I want to talk about that flood there, I think the defense might have been a cover six. So let's see, that was the press here. They're cover six. So what happens in the cover six is this deep safety is actually playing uh, a, two, uh, a two deep safety responsibility. And then the other two safeties are playing a, uh, uh, a third responsibility. That's where you get the cover six uh, from. So. Or you could say that's cover four responsibility. Uh, and that's where you actually get the numbers from to make it a cover six. But that was the idea. I know my two deep verticals out there are going to split that safety, uh, and then uh, it's up to the safety to try and recover. Uh, pretty difficult job for that uh, defensive back to make that play on the ball. So again, here now you see, uh, I mean, I see the defense is back. I, I can know I feel pretty confident. I can hit Amandala over here on a deep out pattern. You see, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. You see how this base play is going to work. Um, I'm waiting for them to show a man-to-man -man look, and I see now, no, we got another uh, goal line look. Uh, we got man, though, and 
Blackburn made a nice play, but we did actually get man that time, which was nice to see. Um, but again, this play has a lot of different options. I mean, you can hit the seams. You got to get your user catch game on. Uh, a lot of different things you could do. Definitely, again, throw the out. Now, okay, here's a situation. I, I, I expect man to man. Uh, so here it is. Oh, not man to man, but I see the seams open, and what do you think? Boom. This play can beat just about any defense with the right read and that's why i like it so much uh, i think it's a play that you could use a lot uh, of success for uh in in one last setup here Farles, i think it has something to say Farles. i would like to talk about shaping a two route window throw yeah okay uh, two windows you can throw it. okay when, when's the second when's the first window first window is to the right with pass lead and okay the second window like right there right yeah, even maybe a little earlier. Maybe it's not quite as good as I thought, but I feel like it is. Okay, so Farles is saying try a, a, a two window pass lead, so snap the like right there. It's kind of like a like a streak almost. Yeah, so, because a lot of guys will use her that. Right. They're used to covering the halfback. So, right. You know, they're used to covering the halfback. They'll say, well, the shake's gonna eventually break out across the middle of the field, even though this isn't leading them as much as we like to see with some of our routes. Still, if they are user in the middle and not respecting it, you gotta pop it quick in the first. Round. Right. Now, I mean, and again, that, that's a great point by Farles. You can see how I worked it there as a second pass, uh, a second read. So instead of a snap throw to the tight end, now I wait on it. So here it comes. He breaks over the middle of the field. Then I deliver the throw. So, I mean, this play has it all. If you put this combination with the other plays that we broke down for this week's show for the Rams, you're going to have a pretty good offense. You're going to see moving the ball consistently. I, I don't have the swoop down on the outside like Farles does. So he houses a lot of those. But... Um, that's why he's the inventor of this offense. But uh, here it is again. I see I'm splitting that safety. Get there, legs. And that's what I'm talking about. That's This play, I mean, cover two, cover three. It doesn't matter what it is, boys and girls. You're going to be able to consistently beat it, lob it up, go up and get it, big fella. Make a play. Boom. I mean, I haven't really been stopped yet running this play. I actually kind of like it. Um, Farrells, what do you think about this? Do you think it's this is, a, is that legit? you think we could start incorporating this into our offense? Thank you. I think so. I think you gotta respect the empty. It's nice for a mobile guy, but I like uh, what you're working with here. It's a pretty good little play. Where do you think could give us trouble? The type of pl off d defense pressure could. Pressure from the left. Yeah, pressure the defense. To the right. Two man under, blitz from the left with. But then you could even. Uh, could your motion snap to say the, the slot left? Yeah, you can. So. So yeah, I mean everything's there. It's just about the read. This play is good. What I was gonna say won't give this defense trouble is a double spy, two man under, uh, and then what you're gonna do is put this this circle out over here on an out pattern, and then I would say, well, Falls was saying put the slot receiver here on a fade, and you're gonna motion him so you get that inside release. Now you can't throw it to that X receiver. You have to wait, and now you see the pass rush gets in. So that's where I can see this play struggling. Your pass protection isn't there, so keep that in mind. Um, I mean, it just I, I want to show you what you might struggle in. I mean, I think it's fair. Uh, yeah, this play is nice. It's it's a great play, but every play can be stopped. Now, that's something right off the uh, right off the get-go that I think, I mean, maybe I can squeeze that in. I mean, that's a sh that's a sketchy throw. I, I don't know how, how comfortable I am with that. And, and once they start doing that, if they start dropping those spies, then I'm forced to kind of force this out route, you know what I mean, over here. And that time they were in a cover two, I didn't switch the defense. But then I'm forced to throw that out and you never want to force the out against two man under. There's some things that your opponent can do to make it uh, make the defense better. So, you know, just check down. I mean, check your other audibles. So, for example, if they started running a lot of two man under on you, uh, let me show you this. If they started running a lot of two man under on you, you could check down to this play, which is your quick audible. Uh, nope. Quick audible left. Quick audible left. Now these two uh, corner routes, they absolutely roast man-to-man -man coverage. At this, at that break of the sideline, you want to throw a lead pass to the sideline, and you're going to absolutely destroy that man-to-man -man coverage. So if you do start facing a lot of uh, two-man under, something that you can do is run these two patterns here towards the sideline. So here is again as they break to the sideline. That's a that was a nine o'clock pass lead on the right. It would be a three o'clock pass lead. So I mean these are a lot of things you can do. You're, you're gonna there's no place perfect. Don't think you're gonna take this play, go in a game, and just run it all game. You might, 
Honestly, you might, but no play is perfect. Uh, but that, guys, that, this is a great, uh, great uh, little offense you can put together, mesh it together, use it, um, and and remember uh, this this weekend, go out and purchase those tournament uh, guides, the starter guides, the specialized offensive products, twenty percent off right now. You can literally get that guide for seven ninety nine. Uh, that's a steal of a deal. We're basically giving it to you for free. The, the iPhone apps are ninety nine cents. That's awesome too. So any questions, feel free to message myself for Falls and uh, Falls. Any anything else? you want to add to the last part of the show. Have a great weekend. Fall says have a great weekend. I say have a great weekend. And as always, boys and girls, you and me together and a little bit, a tiny little bit of Z Falls, we are changing the Madden community and we are doing it one snap at a time.